Welcome to the Ordinary Guy Garage. I'm Scott, just an ordinary guy. Hey, and uh, I haven't done much with the cars, but I've been working steadily on the house out here, and I figured I'd give a little update and show a little video of some of the stuff that we've been doing out there. So, hang on. So first off, a little bit of update on the car stuff, the S10. I had full intention of going to the track last Friday. In fact, I arranged it so I didn't have any work for Friday. I was gonna work on the S10 all day and then head on down there and you know, I, I need a break. So sounds good and all, but it ended up being 114 degrees on Friday. And with that uh, forecast, the track decided to cancel the races for Friday. So Thursday morning, Thursday morning, they put it on Facebook, races are canceled. So I ended up going to work on Friday and uh, you know, is what it is. It's just been happening a lot for me this season. I've only been to the track one time. Every time that I'm ready to go, there's something like weather or heat this time that stops it from racing, you know? And, and uh, when I'm not ready, or when I have like this weekend, I had a lot of stuff I had to get done. And there is racing, but it's it's way out on the coast. And I, I really wanted to go, but I, I just can't right now. So uh, so I, I worked on the house out here. So <laughs> this week, let's see, Wednesday, Wednesday I was coming back from a job, uh, truck loaded, headed back all of a sudden, my dump truck, the Kenworth. I'm coming back on the freeway and I noticed it starts making a noise. I let off the throttle and it really makes a noise. Get back in the throttle, it shuts that noise up a little bit, but it, 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 it didn't sound good. Oh man, so I got to where I was going, dumped my load off, which was hot asphalt, so I had to get it off. And we, we finished that job. I took it down to the shop. The rear differential went out. So I had to put in a new di rear differential, new rear drive shaft, which I already had. I had to put on new brakes. I had a whole bunch of work done. So I ended up having Thursday and Friday of this week off, which I thought, you know what? This is perfect, perfect timing. It never happens for me like that. Usually when something breaks down or something like that, it just screws everything up. But this time it all worked out. So, woohoo! <laughs> so what I did Thursday was I ripped out all the fencing that I had just put in <laughs> when we first bought the place. I had to rip out all the fencing because that's all got to get moved. So that was my job Thursday. Friday, yesterday, I did a bunch of trenching outside for the electrical. The electrician came on Friday and I worked with him out there uh, trenching while they were doing some of the electrical stuff. They're gonna come back on Monday and finish up. So then today, my job was to finish the trenching and get as much prepared for them for Monday as possible. Tomorrow being Sunday, I have to dig a I have to dig a, a a hole with concrete in it, auger a hole down, kind of like a fence post hole, fill it with concrete, put an eyelid in it for a guy wire for my power pole that I that we put up out there. So I gotta do that tomorrow. And then the other thing is I'm gonna try to get the propane line figured out for the house tomorrow and installed if I can. So that way I'm ready to call the propane company to come put that out. And then I'm done. Then it's all up to them to do everything else to the house, you know, the people that are assembling it. So that pretty much takes care of that. Um, tonight is, or today is my uh, 19th wedding anniversary. So 19 years with my wife. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. It's been, she's been a really good wife and I've, I've just been me. <laughs> so anyways, happy anniversary. Um, so here, let's see some video clip and uh, see what I've been up to. Okay, there's my shop. Spike. Now my original plan was, and you can see right here, the fence was here and then went back. The fence I just put in. And this portion of the driveway which connected to where the house is on the other side of the new house, I put this in to connect the two because originally the house was not gonna go here. It was gonna go over there. But the county said I couldn't put it there, whatever.
also this fence that we just built for the donkeys has to come out because I am not going to have this right in front of the house. Every time you try it, it's, it's ugly and it, it just won't work. So the plan is the do donkeys are on vacation right now. They're out visiting with the neighbor for a, a couple of weeks while I get this done. But the plan is this fence here that I'm taking down right here is going to become my front yard. All of this rock right in here is coming out and I'm going to move it to it'll be the base for the new driveway. Now over here, that is not my equipment. They're doing some work on the road. That's an empty lot across the street. Um, so, and then as I said before, this is going away and we're retaining that as a kind of a gathering barn. So, gathering for people. My wife has a poetry group and they'll be meeting in there monthly in her poetry barn. So, this here. Okay, so when you come in, there's a well. When you come in the driveway, hopefully the sun isn't gonna be a pain on us here. So when you come in the driveway, sun's a little bright we come in and we curve and then go that way that was my how I put the driveway and this this portion was already here it's just I just connected the two between the shop and the there so now we're gonna come in I'll come in this one here and we're gonna come in straight see where I took out some fencing right here and you can kind of see in here where I cut down some of the weeds there to kind of figure out where I'm going. And so as we come in here, this will be the driveway, the new driveway. The fence that's here is going to come across so the animals will still have the tree for shade. It's just going to be kind of a narrow pasture right here. And then we're going to come through here like this. Now this is the part we're still trying to figure out. We come in like this. I don't want to take up too much of this area and I don't want to take up too much of that area because I need to have a buffer in between the house and the driveway. And I want to put some trees, I'm going to put in dirt, raise it all up, make it nice. And because you can see we got a highway right here. And so I need to have some trees and bushes and stuff over here to kind of quiet it up. It's not too noisy, but kind of quiet it up. So back to the path. And originally when I first pulled this up last weekend, it was just going to go through here and looking at it because, because the other thing that we're doing, because that pasture is getting cut down so much over here in this section, there's another half an acre or whatever right here. Or three quarters maybe I don't know that you can see I have a fence along there this is an old waterfall that's a piece of junk um, we're gonna put another fence across here so this section here will be the bigger field and then they'll have a small one and they'll be uh, gated in between so they can I can put them on either side and I'll probably right here where the driveway was gonna come out originally as of last weekend I'm gonna put a little barn here so and I think what's going to happen is the driveway is going to curve around and come right about into and through this area and then over. And that will give us plenty of room for a yard in the front. Keeps the, the rock and stuff away from the house, keeps the dust down. And then I'll have enough room for the animals. So that's, that's this version of the plan. Yesterday, I got the fence out. You're gonna have to be careful with the sun. I can't block it out. But anyways, trust me, fence is gone. That was a lot of work. So today, the electrician is on his way over. He's gonna be here in just a few minutes. And right over here, 
where the ditch starts, trench, that pole is going to go in there. And then I'm digging the trench for them. And you can see the line on the ground, their spike, line on the ground, and they connect to the house right there. Right here is my only obstacle that I know about. There's a water line that crosses right through there I gotta be aware of. So, there we go. What do you think, Spike? Good boy. So, that's today's job. So, yesterday's progress. Electrician was out here. <clears throat> he got the box connected to the house back underneath and it connects over there. The trench, Spike and Phoebe, the old puppies. The, the trench here, I should have had it all dug yesterday. You can see I got, cause this is in the driveway, this has got like rock and then underneath it's dirt. So as I'm digging, I'm separating the two. So when I put it back together, it'll compact again. You can see that here, taking off the first layer, and then like right in there you can see the dirt. So I just come through, take off the first layer, set it over here, then come back with for the dirt, set it over there, like I said, so that way I'll be able to compact it good. Now, I have my water lines clearly marked, clearly marked in the wrong spot. So. I dug this guy up. It's kind of cobbled together. I just kind of cobbled it with what I had so that way I can get it to water last night. But this pipe right here has got another, it's got a crack further back. So it was good for the night, but I'm gonna have to dig it out and put another pipe in there. I might just be able to change that section right there. I mean, it's got two couplers there, but whatever. Not that big of a deal. Then over here, keep on walking down. Over here, the trench. They got some of the, we, we ended it right here, the conduit, because I needed to fix the pipe. You know, the electrician did that part. And then we also got the pole standing, the new one. So. The old pole, well, we'll look at that in a second. Now, the other thing that I like to do, I like to bed these, any any utilities, anything underground, I, I bed them all. So this is three quarter minus. It's the same as what's on the top here, except that this, this stuff here doesn't have any of the big rock like what I was digging up. And there's a couple reasons for it. One, it's it's it gives a consistent material around your, your uh, pipe down in there. And the other reason is, if I uh, go to dig, you'll see a difference in the material. You'll go from dirt to all of a sudden this consistent rock material, and you know you got a pipe there. So it helps to avoid ripping it up. That's kind of like a side effect. The number one reason is to give a consistent material around the, the pipe that you're burying. Now the other thing we have to do today is I have to dig another trench from here over to the well so we can run another line power to the well and you can see over here that's the old power pole that feeds a crappy house and it's rotted off on the bottom it's in the wrong spot so all that is going away so that's today's job All right, this is the end of the day today, or where I'm stopping anyways. Finish the trench. On down there. And then what I did over here, let's see, let me walk over here. I have to leave this exposed. They're coming tomorrow or Monday and they're gonna put in the rest of the, rest of the conduit the electrician is and then finish the wiring and I have to leave it exposed anyways after that for inspection so 
this section over here is a driveway area. If I take my dump truck and trailer out, I need to get through here. Dump truck is okay because I can, I could turn around over there and go in and out of that gate, but it would be really, really tight to turn around with the trailer over there. So you just go through here. Um, so I filled in this section here. Lift that exposed for the inspection. Put in the, this here is for the well. Just got it stubbed out. Kind of a little bit wonky right there, but he's got a, the electrician has stuff he could bend that with. Heats it up and moves it around, so he'll probably straighten that up. And then, then hook that up. So that's about it. That's where I'm gonna call it quits for today. Right there. Well, there you have it. That's what I've been up to. Uh, I tell you what, that mini Bobcat, that mini excavator, man, that thing has paid for itself so many times over. My, uh, my dad bought that when we were on the old property <clears throat> to take care of irrigation ditches and, you know, do digging and stuff. We had 55 acres over there. So, um, he bought it, but I was the one who always used it. Um, and now that he's gone, it's just followed me over here. And, uh, man, that thing really comes in handy. Um, the thing you got to understand, I showed the water line, the thing you got to understand, you got to, if you go and like rent a machine like that to, to, to do that, which you can, it's, they're not that hard to operate. It just takes a while to get skillful at it. But as far as digging, it's not that hard. They're, they're really not that hard to run. Um, just know if you use one of those, you're going to dig stuff up. It will happen. you if you think you're not going to, <laughs> You, you will dig stuff up. So just be prepared if you rent one of those machines that you're going to have to patch pipes or rip up wires or whatever. You try to look, you know, if you're in town, you have the city come mark or the, you know, the USA service underground people come and mark stuff out. They're not going to mark stuff out here on my property because everything we, well, they mark it. I guess that's not true. They did come out and mark stuff, but basically they said no utilities because everything is connected on the on the uh, power pole out there. So as far as water lines and sewer line and all that stuff, because I have a septic system, it's all my responsibility. So like I showed with that three quarter minus, I bet all of my pipes in now. And that way when I start digging, if I start seeing that three quarter minus, I know to stop, there's a pipe right there. So, but anyways, that's all I've been up to. Um, hopefully I can get some work done on the S10 this coming week. There's supposed to be another race coming up this coming Friday, I'm not going to say whether I'm going or not. <laughs> I'm because I really want to, but I don't want to jinx myself and have it be super hot or who knows what kind of, maybe we'll have a tornado or something. Who knows? Um, so I'm not going to say I'm going, <laughs> but I think I really want to. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for subscribing. I see you new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Uh, and if you haven't, go ahead and do that and give me a like or thumbs up or whatever you call it. I'll see you next time.